back to a brand new video. Today we're going to actually be looking at how to create a low poly image. Um, you can create any low poly image which just means it's going to be um, sort of triangular. We're not going to do any, you don't want any um, any squares in it at all. It's mainly full of triangles. So if, uh, just get one up for an example. You can see um, this is an example of a low poly image. Anything like this, which is sort of very low detail. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create this low poly image. First of all, there's a download in the description to the software which we're using. Um, it, it's mainly going to we are going to cover Photoshop as well, but however. There's nothing really to do in Photoshop to do with it. It's using a bit of software which makes this way easier for us. So, what you want to do is you want to go to that link. It's called Image Triangulator. Um, you can download that, you can get it, and then extract it to a folder, um, download it, and then run the batch file or exe or whatever you've got. And it'll come up with something which looks a little bit like this. It is a bit confusing, I know, um, but don't take into account the big screen, only use the box the little screen for the time being. Then we need our image. Uh, the image I'm going to use is in fact a banana. I'm just going to save an image of a banana. Banana. Alright, so we've now got our picture of a banana. So you go choose image, you pick the banana and then you're good to go. So what you can do from here is you can look at result, you can look at blur, you can look at mesh and these are our different settings sort of what we can see inside here. So our mesh is going to show us where all of our meshes are because we're going to create a low poly mesh and our result is going to show us our final image. So we want to click mesh um, and we're just going to first of all outline the shape of the banana. So we're going to click at key points in the banana so on the main angles. So Try click on only the key points and you'll get a better image out of it. And it's important that you, if you don't want the white in it, don't cross into the white when you're going around it. So you can just keep going around the banana or whatever image you're using. I've seen this work on portraits quite well. You could make a nice self portrait or a portrait of a family member for a present or a celebrity. Anything's possible when you're doing this. So, once we've done the whole up around, like so, we can see the result. And that's going to be very, very basic poly. So, what it's going to do is it's going to take the main color from each segment and just use that color for that image. So, the main color is what it will use. But we don't want it to look like that, do we? Because that looks rubbish, it's got no detail at all, and it doesn't even look like a banana. So, what we're going to actually do is go around, go down the middle next. So, we're going to start here and split the bananas. And this will give us a bigger highlight in the colours for each banana. As you see, there's a splitting colour here which will be highlighted there. So, like that, once that's done, we can now go down. The middle bit of the bananas, so you can start anywhere you want. Let's start just here. One, two, so there. Uh, 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 and there. And another point there as well. You can see where the segments are going to be because you just move your mouse away another bit. I want one to be roughly in the middle there. there. So, so now if we see the result, our bananas are suddenly looking a lot better and they are in fact low poly images. So we're going to go back to the mesh, we're going to put a little bit of shadow down here. So we want to do some small meshes. So we want to have increased detail on the shadows. So 
And then for around the outside, we're just going to create a big mesh for where the white is. So we might have some color diversity, um, but I highly doubt it because it is all white. There isn't any variance. I'm just going to do all that like that. Now we can go in and add more detail if we wish. So I'm going to just add another line down here. However, do be aware, aware that this may take away from your line, so you might want to go back in and add onto your line. So it straightens it out. You can see what I'm doing. Like so. I'm just going to leave it as that. We can click result. And we can see it's looking quite good. It's looking like just a low poly banana image, really. Um, apart from this bottom bit, it's a little bit jagged, not very smooth. So we're going to try to straighten this up a little bit by just adding some extra clicks in. Let's say it like that. So we can leave it on result and we can see that we can add some more lights in just to, just to smooth it out a little bit, make it less harsh. Like that. We'll add another point up here or something. There we go. Leave that where that'd be. Contrast there. Kind of fact, made that a little bit darker. And that's all there is to that part. So the next point is we want to then save this image. So what we can do, click write to PDF and then save it. I've already saved mine as banana PDF. Uh, you save it. Then you can go into your Photoshop. I've already got mine open. And you can do some tidying up if you wish. Um, you can save your points as well and import them as vectors. Um, but this is basically how you do it. So you'd then be able to use your lasso tool or however you wish to use your tools. Um, you could even use just a simple magic wand and get rid of shapes as long as you have a wide background, obviously. So, so we could get rid of some of the shadow if we wished, um, and so on. But that is all there is to this, guys. It's very, very simple. Have fun with it. Um, obviously, there's different ways you can do this. There's, you can use all different methods. This is just the method that I prefer the most. Um, so feel free to go ahead and use it. And that's all. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.